Welcome to my September uh, Executive Principal of the Cabot Learning Federation blog. Um, we've been back now for just over three weeks since the start of term and uh, this has been a very busy period for the CLF. Uh, on September the 1st, five new academies opened. Uh, one new secondary academy in Bath, Bath Community Academy, which is taking the place of the previous Culver Hay School, um, which was a boys' school in the city and is now a co-educational school. Um, and four of our local primary school partners in East Bristol have joined the Federation as well. Hillfields Primary School has become Minerva Primary Academy, Begbrook has become Begbrook Primary Academy, Summerhill Academy from Summerhill Junior School, and Froome Vale Academy from Albury Court. Um, and I think what I've noticed for the first time uh, in the past month is the real value that there is in working with organisations that have children from the age of reception class right the way through to post-16. Um, and the, the advantage of this was very evident at all the open evenings that we've just finished. Uh, we have one more, in fact, this evening at Mr. Brunel Academy and one at Bath Community Academy the week after next. But we've had that season of visits where children and parents, year five and year six, have been to see our academies. And it's been very obvious that a number of parents who've got younger siblings uh, in the primary academies uh, are seeing the benefit of being able to work uh, with us for pretty much their entire compulsory education of their children. So that's been a real positive uh, and I'm really looking forward to how that will develop and, and, and welcome the staff and the principals of those academies to the CLF. Thinking further ahead um, to September 2013, uh, we will be opening a brand new primary academy with 60 reception children on the Cheswick Village Estate, uh, very close to the University of the West of England. Um, and our new academy there, which has a working title of Walls Court Farm Primary Academy, uh, will become the 11th CLF Academy and the 5th Primary. Uh, and that's a really exciting venture. We've not had the opportunity to open an academy from the very first year and upwards, and we've certainly not done it in a brand new build. So that's an exciting development, um, and we are looking forward to appointing a principal designate um, a week on Monday. Uh, I'll bring people up to date with that uh, in my next blog. Uh, but that's going to be really exciting and we have an open evening for Walls Court Farm Primary Academy on Tuesday, October the 2nd at 6 o'clock um, at the Holiday Inn next door to the French Air Campus at the University of the West of England. A year ago, or just over a year ago, the teaching school that we uh, opened up uh, came into being and we're now into year two of that. And two very pre predominantly important uh, parts of that work are already beginning to embed. Um, we have 28 teacher trainees, um, secondary teacher trainees, who are training within the Federation. Um, 11 of those are school direct trainees, and 17 of those are University of West of England PGCEs who have chosen to work with us on this path, um, covering English, maths, science, and design technology and art. Um, we started on the day the GCSE results came out. We began our induction with the PGC students watching the Year 11s open their, their, their envelopes and see um, how they performed. That we felt that was a really inspirational way for them to start. And we followed that with a two-week summer school to induct them into the Federation and induct them into some of the work they're going to be doing this year. Um, so they've been with us now for nearly six weeks uh, and have made a really positive impact on their visits into the different academies where they've been doing lesson observations um, and, get, and getting to meet students and staff. So that's been a real positive uh, and we look forward to their development over the course of this year. We are also about to begin delivery of the NBQH qualification. We were delighted back in the spring of 2012 to win one of the National College's licenses to deliver the Level 1, 2 and 3 courses for middle, senior and NBQH uh, students on the uh, National College modular curriculum. Um, and our first cohort of NBQH students will begin with us uh, in November. Uh, and again, really excited about what that, op that offers us in terms of succession planning across the southwest, um, and for those colleagues who are joining us from not just from the Bristol area, but from uh, local uh, education authorities quite close to us as well. So, a real development, I think, in terms of uh, people new to the profession and people who will be new to headship. Um, so, this is the end of the September blog. Um, I will do another one just before October half term. Uh, and bring people up to date with the CLFN. Thank you.